You have probably seen the word shihan before, but what is it? Where does it come from? And how does one get or become one? Well, the short answer is, is that it has everything to do with something called a menkyo. The concept of menkyo, which refers to a certificate or license denoting mastery or proficiency in a particular Japanese martial or traditional art, has a long and complex history. Menkyo systems have been used in a variety of Japanese arts, including martial arts, tea ceremony, calligraphy, and others. In traditional Japanese arts, earning menkyo is an important part of the training and evaluation process. This history is complex, but to give a very quick background of it, the history of menkyo as formalized documentation began in the Edo period primarily with martial arts schools. Large martial arts schools like Takeda and Yagyu schools adopted the system to ensure quality of instruction. It also helped maintain a standard of tradition and keep track of individual students' progress. But let's move on to menkyo and more about it. Menkyo is a Japanese term that means license or permission. In the context of traditional Japanese arts such as kendo, judo, tea ceremony, flower arrangement, and many others, menkyo refers to a certification or license that indicates a person has achieved a certain level of proficiency and knowledge in their art. A menkyo may be awarded at different levels of proficiency and indicate different degrees of mastery or competence. For example, in the martial arts, there are different levels of menkyo, such as shodan, nidan, sandan, and so on, that corresponds to a different levels of black belt ranking. In other arts, menkyo can indicate mastery of particular techniques, style, or schools of thought. In some Japanese arts, menkyo is also used to indicate authorization to teach or transmit the arts to others. For example, a person who holds a menkyo kaiden in a particular martial art has not only achieved the highest level of proficiency, but also has been authorized to teach the art and to pass it down to future generations. Simply put, the menkyo is an important aspect of traditional Japanese arts and it serves as a way to recognize and acknowledge the achievements and expertise of practitioners, as well as to preserve and transmit the tradition to future generations. But what about in the shakuhachi world? Shakuhachi culture also observes this tradition, using the rankings as shoden, chuden, okuden, junshihan, shihan, daishihan, and senshin kutsudaishihan. We'll look at each of those individually. As a side note, some schools will have additional levels or have different names for their higher ranks. In shakuhachi, shoden refers to the first level of instruction in playing the shakuhachi. It involves basic playing techniques, such as how to hold and blow into the shakuhachi, how to produce different pitches and tones, and playing simple melodies. Students at the shoden level also typically learn basic music theory, such as how to read musical notation and understand rhythmic patterns. Shodan is considered an important foundation for further study in shakuhachi, and mastery of the techniques taught at this level is essential for progressing to the next level of instruction. In different schools of shakuhachi, the curriculum for shodan varies, but it usually involves learning a specific set of pieces and exercises. The length of the shodan stage can also vary depending on the school and the individual student's progress. Chuden refers to the intermediate level of instruction in shakuhachi. After mastering the basic techniques and concepts taught at the shodan level, students move on to chuden, learning more advanced techniques and pieces of music. In chuden, students develop their tone, timing, and breathing control, as well as their ability to interpret and express the emotional content of the music they are playing. They also deepen their understanding of musical theory and notation, as well as the cultural and historical context of the shakuhachi music. Okuden refers to the advanced level of instruction in playing the instrument. After completing the foundational techniques and music taught in shoden and chuden, students move on to okuden, where they learn more complex and sophisticated techniques, as well as the deeper aspects of shakuhachi music and spirituality. Okuden students with the Renzo Studio are required to give a recital to showcase their technique, knowledge of the instrument, and musical sensibility. At this stage, a student should begin searching for their own voice. In addition, students explore a wider range of musical styles, including traditional honkyoku pieces, ensemble music, and contemporary compositions. They also delve into the spiritual and philosophical dimensions of shakuhachi. Though it is a new adaptation of the 20th century, students will also study and learn the shakuhachi's connection to Zen Buddhism and the concept of Suizen, blowing meditation. Okuden instruction is typically more personalized and tailored to the individual student's needs and interests, and it involves more one-on-one -on -one guidance and mentorship from master to student. Jun Shihan is an associate teaching certification. 
It is a rank that is typically awarded to advanced students who have demonstrated a high level of skill and understanding in playing the shakuhachi and completed a rigorous training program under the guidance of a master teacher. The Jun Shihan rank is often considered a stepping stone to becoming a full-fledged shakuhachi teacher or master, known as Shihan. Jun Shihan may be authorized to teach shakuhachis to beginner and intermediate level students, under the guidance and supervision of their master. To achieve the rank of Jun Shihan, a student must typically have studied and practiced shakuhachi for several years, have demonstrated proficiency in playing a wide range of musical styles and techniques, and have a deep understanding of the cultural and spiritual context of the shakuhachi music. They must also pass a rigorous examination that tests their skills in playing, teaching, and performing shakuhachi music. A Shihan, as mentioned before, is a master or fully licensed teacher, who has achieved a high level of proficiency and mastery in playing the instrument. A shakuhachi shihan is typically considered an expert in the art and has spent many years studying and practicing under the guidance of a master teacher. Shihan may have achieved a teaching certification from a recognized shakuhachi organization or school, and they are authorized to teach shakuhachi to students of all levels, from beginners to advanced players. They may also be recognized as a master performer of shakuhachi music, capable of playing a wide range of traditional and contemporary pieces with technical mastery and emotional expression. In addition to teaching and performing, a shakuhachi shihan is often responsible for preserving and transmitting the cultural and spiritual traditions associated with the instrument. They may be called upon to lead workshops, lectures, and demonstrations on shakuhachi music. Shakuhachi shihans are highly respected figures in the shakuhachi community. Next is dai shihan, which represents one of the highest levels of teaching certification and mastery of the shakuhachi. It is a rank that is typically awarded to a very small number of exceptional shakuhachi masters who have demonstrated unparalleled skill, knowledge, and expertise in playing, teaching, and preserving the art of shakuhachi. A daishihan is considered a true living treasure of the shakuhachi world, and they are often regarded as the most senior and respected teachers and performers of the instrument. They may have dedicated their entire lives to the study and practice of shakuhachi, and they are recognized for their exceptional technical ability, deep musical insight, and spiritual understanding. A Dai Shihan may have studied under multiple master teachers, and they are often recognized as lineage holders of particular shakuhachi schools or traditions. They may also have made significant contributions to the development and evolution of shakuhachi music by composing new pieces, arranging traditional music, or creating new performance techniques. Lastly is Sen Shin Kutsu Dai Shihan. This is a title in shakuhachi that combines the concepts of purification, emptiness, and mastery. It is a very high level of achievement and recognition for a shakuhachi master. Sen Shinkutsu literally means cave of purifying the heart or cave of washing the mind. It refers to a metaphorical space within oneself where one can let go of attachments and distractions and connect deeply with the essence of shakuhachi music and metaphysics. A Sen Shinkutsu Dai Shihan is a master who has reached the highest level of proficiency and insights in playing and teaching shakuhachi. They have achieved a deep understanding of the cultural, historical, and spiritual context of shakuhachi music, and they have dedicated their lives to preserving and transmitting the art to future generations. The title, Senshin Kutsudai Shihan, reflects the idea that the shakuhachi master has delved into the cave of purifying the heart or cave of washing the mind and emerged with a deep sense of clarity, wisdom, and compassion. They are recognized for their ability to convey this essence of shakuhachi to their students and audience and for the role of preserving the tradition for future generations. Now, of course, there are many other schools that have many other names, and they use different titles for their menkyos, and so on and so forth. These are just the ones that I am familiar with. So, I hope that this was helpful. I'll see you guys next time for another Shakuhachi video.